The invasion of the Senate by some unidentified men is eliciting reactions from federal lawmakers in the Senate and House of Representatives. They want to go towards the main... A federal lawmaker, Senator Adeola Olamilekon, had a brush with the men who snatched the mace from the Senate chamber. He recounts that he mistakenly entered into the vehicle used to convey the thugs out of the National Assembly. I just noticed there was a pandemonium. Everybody was running. The next thing I had was, yeah, distinguish, you have to enter your car, you have to enter your car, you have to enter your car, you have to enter your car. Ah, I was looking for my car, my car, but the car that appeared before me is exactly like my car. So I quickly rushed into the car. But what I noticed was that the Two people carrying the maze of the Senate entered the same car with me. It was then I started looking at, this is not my car. Who are you? What is happening? But before I could say that, they were already driving away. They were on top speed. There was a car was, up, that a car was coming, and there's a narrow space that there is need for. I just quickly opened, opened the door, and I was just, threw out of the car, I just jumped out of the car. Senator Lamileko, however, says the invasion is completely unacceptable. These are people who want to truncate the democratic process. Because yesterday we called for the removal of service chiefs. And today there are talks in the National Assembly, in the Senate, the highest lawmaking body in the land, and cut away with the maze. Are we in a lawless country? Other lawmakers also condemn the entry and forceful removal of the maze from the Senate chamber. Yeah, it's not something that we should expect to happen in the National Assembly of Nigeria. It's uh, an attack and an assault on integrity as well as dem democratic principles of Nigeria. Whether we like it or not, what happened should agitate our various minds because it's unbecoming becoming of a democratic setting like the National Assembly. In the meantime, the Senate has vowed to get to the root of Wednesday's incident in its chamber and ensure that those responsible are brought to justice. Well, Senator Shehu Sani joins us right now, and he is a member of the All Progressives Congress and also the chairman of the Senate Committee on Foreign and Local Debt. Senator, you're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you for having me. Well, I shouldn't ask you uh, if you were shocked with what transpired yesterday. But maybe I should just ask you anyway. Were you shocked? Well, uh, I have to be shocked because it is not expected of uh, a distinguished senator to lead some armed thugs to invade the chambers of the Senate. Uh, it will naturally shock anyone in the sense that... Uh, it is something that is morally and ethically wrong. Uh, that should not be a place for that kind of thing. Mm. Are you satisfied with the reactions that you have seen so far? Your party, the All Progressives Congress, has released a statement uh, saying that you know what happened was condemnable and you know actions should be taken and things of the sort. Are you satisfied with the different reactions that you have seen from the different arms of government as well? Well, naturally, when things like this happen, people are bound to react. But the best of reaction should be to outrightly and unambiguously condemn the invasion in the very sense that it is an affront on democracy, it is an assault on democracy, it is an assault on institution of democracy. And it is right to equate it to an attempt to uh, take over the government in the very sense that uh, one came in uh, forcefully uh, to take over the maze and go away with it. Well, we should understand that the parliament is one of the three arms of government and if that could happen to the Senate, it can also happen, happen to the president. For those, those who uh, are trying to justify the very fact that because a senator is suspended, and he has the right to act that way, uh, will have difficulty in also trying to justify if that should happen to a president. Uh, every day you see members of the Islamic movement outside protesting one of their leader was detained. What becomes of them if they said because one of their leader is detained so they should enter the villa and do the same thing? And uh, I believe that if an action is not taken on this, 
is going to set a very dangerous precedent in the very sense that democracy will seriously be at risk. Can, can you explain to Nigerians, for, for our viewers who are wondering, what is the significance of that mace? You know, we have heard it's a symbol of authority in the National Assembly, but what do we make of that action of, you know, people who are not members of the National Assembly entering the Senate chambers and taking away the mace? Was there a motive behind it? What precisely was running through your mind? Well, what is the significance of that? Well, if you, if you look at um, um, various positions and institutions, there will, in every possible way, be some symbols that will define what that institution is all about. Uh, you, as journalists, are not with pain and mics, and then uh, for the presidency, there are other objects to which we can make reference to, like the seal of the president. And then the, for the parliament, you have uh, the gavel, and also you have the mace. So it is symbolic that that is... Uh, what the parliament is. It has been there for, uh, for, for centuries as a symbol of the parliament. But um, and naturally, when troubles happen, and that should be most protected in the very sense that whoever takes that is being seen to have taken uh, a symbol of the parliament and, and he has taken it away. So that is why we equate it to an attempt to to overthrow the, 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 an arm of government by simply taking that away, using the force and uh, for persons who are from outside of the National Assembly. You, you know, Senator, in one of the, some of the kind of observations that you heard in recent days, particularly before the Mace incident, was some level of sympathy uh, kind of being shared with uh, Senator Omo Agege that, look, if this statement about the Electoral Act Amendment targeting Buhari, does that constitute an Ill illegality? If you compare that to some of the other statements that have been made on the floor of the Senate, you know, uh, Senator Oluremi Tinubu being attacked by Senator Dino Malai, for example. In another case, uh, uh, the, the, the committee on downstream was attacked for being biased by senators on the floor of the Senate, and there were thoughts about whether or not that tarnished the image of the Senate, but there was no repercussion for those instances, but a big repercussion in this instance. Is there a double standard for those who go against the principal officers of the National Assembly and those who do not go against the, the principal officers of the National Assembly? Well, first of all, I will be the last person to support the sanctioning of any person simply because he expresses a contrary opinion. Because if I support that, that may one day follow me. And uh, for me, that I've always expressed my opinion, each time I speak outside of the Senate, I expect when I go back for uh, me to face consequences. And if you are to say anything uh, contrary to the thinking of other persons and you predicted that there should be consequences, then you have a choice to say it or not to say it. What happened with Omo Agege and his group, the Parliamentary Support Group, was not simply that they were opposed to the ordering of sequence of election, but they created an impression that may incite the populace against the Senate. Uh, what they did was to say that uh, the reordering was targeted at Buhari. And you know very well how the ordinary people, especially in the north and some part of the north central, takes Buhari as a person. Uh, people who are being seen to be anti-Buhari are being haunted. They are also being scaled down in most cases. I don't mind you call me anything as far as I'm concerned. If the president is wrong, I will express my opinion. Even if the party is wrong, I will express my opinion. But there are people who felt that if we simply reorder the election based on the fact that we are a parliament and we are empowered to do that. But for you to go and say that. And then Omo Agege came back to the Senate and apologized. And then he was forgiven. But he now went to court. And when he went to court, the now senator said, okay, after you apologize and then you go to court, then that means that this is not, issue is not over. And then he was suspended. But as far as I'm concerned, 
the reordering of the election is not something that is so popular in the National Assembly. And all they need to do is to lobby members to come to their side so that the bill can once and for all be extinguished. Uh, but what they did was simply to antagonize everyone.